welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is Cheryl I love decorating with style on a budget and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is in today's video we are going to be restyling my kitchen island so this is how it has looked since spring I love it but as you guys know I told you I love to use greenery more than florals for the summer season. So we are going to switch this up. I've pulled out a few things. As I've told you in the past, as a lover of home decor, you always have a lot of stuff, or at least I do. So I don't know if you remember this vase. Um, we picked it up from the Dollar General. It was $12. I picked it up because it reminded me of those vases that you see at our house, restoration hardware, um, pottery barn, that are way more expensive than $12. And I picked it up with the intention of, hey, maybe I will paint this black, um, give it a little makeover. I haven't done that yet. So this is its natural state. Um, I don't know that it's gonna stay this color. We're gonna try to use it the way it is today, but more than likely I am going to paint this black. Yeah, just not my style the way it currently looks. Um, also as a base, I pulled this one out. This one I picked up from Crate and Barrel, I believe. Yeah, it's part of the Leanne Ford collection. How much were you? I got it on clearance. Um, after, oh, I don't even know. I wanna say I paid like $25 for it when it was around $40. Again, I bought it with the intention of painting it black. I haven't painted it black yet, so we're gonna use it the way it looks currently in its current state. Um, also, I have this piece oops, that I picked up from CB2. Absolutely love this. I want to say I picked this up on sale as well. I don't remember how much it was and if it's still available I will try to have it linked below because I absolutely love the style and the design aesthetic of this face. We are not going to be doing anything to that. I love it just the way it is. And then this little vase is a DIY. You remember we did this last year for Christmas and I figured what Let's bring it back out, see how we can use it, or if we can. And then this piece is new. I haven't shown it to you. It's gonna be part of a haul. If you haven't already seen that haul, I think it goes up soon. But I picked this up on clearance. It was $25. I love the design detail of it. Love the way it looks. So I thought, okay, let's pull it out and see if we can use it might be a little tall with the globes but we will see and then I have my greenery so I showed you guys this plant before it is a stag fern I picked it up from Amazon um, these are what are you pearls some type of pearl type of plant I forget what these are called but these came from Hobby Lobby um, you can get these that never go on sale at Hobby Lobby for some reason. So you can't get them at the 50% off. But you can also find these on Amazon. Um, these avocados, I love to decorate with those for the summer season because of the green color. These came from Amazon. Anything that I mentioned from Amazon, I will have it linked to my Amazon storefront, which you can shop 24 seven. And yeah, I do get a small commission. So if so, if you do shop there, I appreciate it so much and I want to thank you in advance. This candle I picked up, it came from Target. Um, it has the Gemini symbol, as you guys know. I am a Gemini baby, so I have had this for quite a while. But I always like to use candles and anytime I create a vignette. So I pulled this one out, that's black. This one, that's silver, this came from, um, did I get you at home no Tuesday morning it was $7.99 and then I have this one also came from Tuesday morning it was on clearance for eight dollars so you guys know my colors black white and green are my accent so 
yeah, that is what we are going to be working with today. Oh, and also, I have this greenery over here. This greenery came from Amazon. We're gonna try to use that. And remember, these came from the Dollar Tree, guys. Just look how nice these are. So, so nice. Came from the Dollar Tree. Absolutely love these. So we're gonna try to use these again. These came from the at home store recently. If you remember, I showed you these as part of a haul. These were less than, I wanna say they're around $2 a piece. And look at the quality, love these. So we're gonna use those. And then these, these are philodendrons, I think. These I got from Magnolia online, also on clearance a couple of years ago. Um, and I thought I would pull these out. These are like real touch. They're very soft to the touch. I don't know if these are still available anymore. Um, but if so, I will try to leave them linked as well for you. But yeah, this is a greenery that we're gonna be working with today. And let's get started. All right, hopefully you can see okay. Let me pull you back just a tad. I don't have any makeup on today, so <laughs> I don't want to get on camera. Can you see that? This is, again, what we are working with. This has been up for, well, gosh, guys, I said I didn't want to be on camera, but here I am. Your girl has no makeup on. This is what she looks like today. I'm sorry. But anyway, you're not here to look at me. You're here for inspiration on how to decorate your kitchen islands. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. These pieces, I think I'm probably going to reuse. I love these. They are a little dusty, so we need to wash these. But these came from CB2, the baby, and the mama. And then here's a big floral arrangement that we oops, we created earlier in the year. Our over-the-top floral arrangement. So we're going to take this away. I don't know. I might use that. Um, in my entryway. Remember you guys, I did my entryway, I made it a makeover. There, maybe, I will put it there, because I know a lot of you guys thought that I had styled the entryway a little simply, and you wanna see some over the top over there, so we might put it over there, we'll see. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna see me redecorate the entryway with some more decor because you know I have a lot. All right, so for this look, we're going to bring out this vase. This is also thrifted. This came, I want to say, like from the Goodwill, and it was $4.99, I believe. And it was not this color when I picked it up. It is from Southern Living at Home. It was red, I painted it black, and yeah, this is what we're working with. Again, it's reminiscent of something you would see at Pottery Barn. So I'm glad I went ahead and picked that up. So I'm just gonna bring all of our greenery over that we're going to use. And you know, I think that black and green look so well together for summer. So for our first styling, we're going to use these stems from, um, where are you from? Hobby Lobby. Yeah, <laughs> good thing. We're going to use these stems from Hobby Lobby. And we're going to do north, south, east, and west. And again, these are a little long, so I have to manipulate these branches, but that's how that is. I'm gonna just put these over on this side. That's how that's looking. Because I want to give you a really nice view. And right now, all this other stuff, it's a little cluttered. So let me move all of this stuff to the other side. Give 
us a clean slate to work with. All right, that looks a lot better. Okay, so we have, oh, and this tray, in case you're wondering, came from Pottery Barn. Um, I wanna say I paid full price, <laughs> $100 for this tray, which is expensive and not normally something I would do. But um, I wanted the tray, so I went ahead and picked it up. But I did see recently someone, who was it? showed a similar tray to this um, from somewhere else that was almost an exact dupe for a lot less money. I forget who it is, but if I remember, I will leave it linked on the screen below. So this is what we have and let's go ahead and maybe add back in Little clutches. Let me go ahead and clean them up first. Because I do like these, just like the way they look. So, so cute. Let's turn this to the side. Put these back. And then add a candle. Which one? Silver? I think so. And this is our first island vignette styling. Let's take a closer look. This is how our first vignette looks. I'm absolutely loving it. It's very simple. I'm trying to keep things simple for summer. I know you guys are used to me going over the top with things, but I don't know. I just want a simplistic look for summer. So this is our first vignette. We have our elements that I like to use, which are greenery, a candle, and some type of what I call chashki. In this case, we are using these little cloches that came from CB2. Absolutely love how this looks. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of our first look. Now, let's start our second. All right, so we're gonna take these away. And these away. Now, let's try a low look. Can you see that? Let's put this over here. All right, so I'm gonna bring in this look. And again, we have our stack burn. And then I'm just going to drape these around on either side, like so. So we have that. Then I think we need some type of candle. Hold on. All right, so I went and grabbed a couple of candlestick options. So these, can you see that, were thrifted. These came from Goodwill. And I believe they were $1.99 a piece, but they were brown, we painted them black. Um, these came from Amazon. These were like two for $9, very modern in appearance. 
love that. I love the ripped detailing on these. And then this one came from Hearth and Hand, I believe, or Threshold from Target. It's tall, so I don't know. We'll see. So let's start with the shorter ones and see how we like them. And I wanna stagger them. And we'll put in our candlesticks. He's always, you guys tell me I need to get some museum putty or actually one viewer told me to light the candle, let some wax drip in. And then put the candle in. Get some dripping wax. Oh, the candle wants to go out, but I'm not getting any. There we go. All right, and then we'll stick our candle down in here. Will that work? It does. All right, and we'll go ahead and light our other. And here, this is. A simple look moody gives you a moody vibe with the lit candles so this could be our second option let's take a closer look all right so this option's okay well but I am not in love with look and it's very important at least to me that you be in love with the look so let's try using whoa this larger candle sticks and see how we feel about it I think I like that better all right, so this is how it's looking. I believe I do like this look a lot better. It is a simple look, but again, we're going for simple. And I like it. Leave me a comment down below. I like it better than the first candlesticks that we use. So this is a low version floral arrangement. Again, very simple, not what you're used to seeing me do. But again, we're going for simple here in the kitchen. I love it. I hope you do as well. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you don't like it, I'm okay with you saying that you don't like it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to like everything, but I like it. So let me know what you think. All right, so we're gonna take these off. And again, we're gonna start with a clean slate. use this face I think so we'll bring this one in I really think I need to paint that black though and for this let's use our tropical plants that we picked up from the Dollar Tree I think these are really, really nice. Look at that. For $1.25 from the Dollar Tree? Yeah, you can't beat that. So, if you wanted to go for a coastal look or a tropical look in your kitchen, this look would be perfect for that. And I'm just gonna bend the stems and stick these in. I like to bend my stems and give them a little movement. 
so that's how that's looking again very simple then I think we will bring in our white candle and put it there I think I need one other thing so hold on all right remember our little crane from the other day I think he would look good here as our pop of white again if this were green I mean the base were black rather I think it would look a lot better but I haven't painted it yet so we'll use it like it is so this would be our third look let's take a closer look Here's our third look. I'm sorry the lighting has changed. It's getting ready to storm here. So I apologize, but this is our third look. Again, something very simple. If you were going for a coastal or tropical look, I think this works perfectly here. This is our third vignette for our island. I love it. Again, simple for me, I know, but we're going simple for summer. I like it. I hope you do as well. And let's try out one more vignette. All right, let's take everything away. And start with a clean slate. Let's bring in now our taller vase and for this one I want to use these well it might be a little long we shall see our glows are will these work no <laughs> it won't work look at that you see that <laughs> too long so can't use these. So let's try these. These came from again Magnolia. They work a little better. This face may just be too tall for this area. But we're gonna try it anyway. You can't see. Let me back you up a little bit. Can you see that? Simple. I kind of like the two. And then let's bring in this little bowl that we're going to use as a tray. We're going to use our artichokes that we pick up. Amazon. I'm going to use two big ones and two small ones. And then bring in a candle. This is how that's looking. Let's take a closer look. So this is how the fourth vignette is looking. I really do like the simplicity of just the two pieces of greenery here. I think the vase 
is a little too tall. And I think this candle is too dark. So let's bring the white one back and see if we like it better. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks better. Yeah, so this is the fourth vignette. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Again, something that is very simple, but I like it. And I, and I also think it's not something that you would see in everyone's home. So I just want to try to inspire you to be creative, think outside the box. Your home, as I always say, does not have to look like everyone else's. Be unique, be you. <laughs> And this is me being unique to me. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. As I said, I think the vase is a little bit too tall. So you can see in comparison with our um, lighting, but I still like it. I think it's over the top. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Would you keep it this way? Would you change it? Would you add a smaller vase? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. But guys, I think this is going to be our final look. I like it. Different. It's different. It's not something I've done before. So yeah, we're going to leave it this way. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I hope today's video has inspired you and it has given you some ideas on how to decorate your island and create little vignettes around your kitchen. Like this is for the island. Any of the looks we put together, you can use in any location in your kitchen. As you guys know, I showed you several vignettes earlier for spring that I did around my kitchen. And if you missed any of those videos, I will leave them linked in the description box down below so you can go check those out. But this is the look here. So yeah, let me know which look you like. Did you like look number one, number two, number three, or our final look the best? I hope you're like me and you like the final look, but let's go ahead and light our candle and then we'll take one last look. So here is the look. I love it and I hope you do as well. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video content and it has inspired you. If so, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you are new here to my channel, as I said, my name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. So if you love home decor and you love decorating your home with style on a budget, then this is the channel for you. If you have not yet already subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So guys, yeah, love this look. Again, it is unusual, not something that you would see in everyone's home. I wanna give you inspiration to think outside the box. Your home doesn't have to look like everyone else's. So yeah, I hope you got that inspiration today. And as I said, I would love to have you become a part of the family if you have not already done so. So let's take one last look at our vignette stylings and I hope to see you in the next one.